Another episode, another Heavenly Demon King down, bro, is too goaded. But technically, those idiots did the most cliche enemy villain thing and pretty much explained, <laughs> I'm going to win now. But let me explain to you exactly how you would have won. Not that it matters to Seiya, because Seiya would have figured it out regardless. Right? Bro already had a blunt skill. Bro has some items to use ice. So synthesis is going to be an important thing moving forward that we should remember. I was shitting on Mash a lot. You know, the kids... I, I'm a bully. I'm a monster. I'm mean, bro. I'm just trying to make some fun content. But the kid actually got tortured. And yes, we're still calling him Mushroom Head from Namaste Village. But he's most likely going to get relegated into being a bag boy to carry stuff. But maybe there's potential for the Loli and Shota. They are Dragon Kin after all. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction, though. <laughs> this kid is actually quite brave, man. Mommy, I was wiping some shit off. Pause. <laughs> Exiting narrator. El narrador se ha cerrado inesperadamente. Si esto no se esperaba, visite el sitio web oficial de Microsoft. I don't know what the fuck this happened. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> Say ya. Mushroom bag boy. Yeah, you're thankful then pay me the money. They're straight up bag boys, bag girls. No. <laughs> Yay! Baggage career! <laughs> How are you so happy about this? What lesson? Yeah, I mean, Seiya is kind of insane. It's, it's unfair. No. You better pay up extra money if you want to be my fucking apprentice. Oh, really? He's being a little nice there, actually. No, that's fucked up for me to say that he's being nice there when he literally said, do whatever you want as long as you carry my shit. But compared to the Seiya we knew before, he would have definitely made him pay way more money for this. All right. Our party has improved. Dragon's Den. They are Dragon Kin. Namaste Village. Oh, they're like super important. What the fuck? It was a prophecy all this time? I feel kind of bad because, like, say I was shitting on them, but this is like hmm, 16 years ago, a legendary dragon appeared with, you know, Lulu and her. It's like, damn, they're actually pretty important, but say I just treated them as like NPCs. <laughs> they are NPCs, though! <laughs> Mightiest of weapons. <laughs> That's right, we have three copies. Three copies. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the dragon. Oh, well, why not? Uh, do more squats? We're allowed to bring regular humans from these other worlds back to the goddess plane? Interesting. So like, you know how the other goddesses are kind of like, um... Ishtar and Arya, they were both kind of aware of Seiya's existence before, right? Ish Ishtar was like, oh, you've grown so much. And Arya was like, very shook after talking about the world that she couldn't save. So like... How does this relate to that? The kids from these regular worlds being summoned here. I don't know. I'm just trying to make the connections, but I can't. We're going to make them train. All right, let's train them. Where's the Cersei's? Bald. Bald. The divine sword is now working at the cafeteria. <laughs> Bro is so traumatized. He's given up the Divine Blade. Yeah, the Divine Blade is him now. Okay. He's a Divine Chef now. Yuck! I bet it's pretty good. You gotta be careful about this. What does that even mean? <laughs> your trainer, <laughs> your day job, <laughs> your coach. <laughs> I feel bad for Cersei. This guy needs a break. We need to find a different person to train these kids. Man. <laughs> That's right. PTSD stands for post traumatic psychosomatic disorder. Good one. 
No, it's mushroom head. Oh, it's mushroom head. Oh, it's mushroom head. Oh, it's mushroom head. If he's too weak to carry my bags, the monsters could steal my weapons. So you need to train this kid so that he can hold up a heavier bag. Amazing logic, Seiya. Okay. Does he have some dragon skills? What does he have? Hmm? Why? Oh, because he's super weak. Cersei wants to bully the kid, right? Hold the fuck up. Look at those eyes, dude. He wants to fucking lash out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Mash does the same shit too, you know, Cersei's at the end of his training, though. Bro is- Bro's a literal god! Bro's a literal god bullying- picking- bullying on this fucking, like, nine-year-old kid! Wow. Wow. Oh, shit's pack. I'm kidding. Hestas- Hestiaka, goddess of fire. Damn. The goddess is so nice, man. Look how long her hair is. All the goddess designs are peak, man. Eruru's teacher? It's not really red. This is more pink mahogany. But I get what she's trying to say. That's red. That's red. Who's gonna train you now, man? Oh, boing, boing, boing. Goddess of Destruction Valkyrie. You third rate god. All the goddesses have been so nice and friendly so far, but I think we found Saya's new trainer, huh? Valkyrie. What is she wearing? What is she not wearing? Like, straight up, what is she wearing? What are those things around her? What the fuck is that? Chains. They're chains. It's actual chains. This girl just fucking shit on us, sexually assaulted us, groped us, and just leaves, bro. Damn. No, she's a little mean. Everyone else is pretty nice, though. All the goddesses are exhibitionist, man. Mightiest? Actually strongest? Hey, exhibitionist. Train me. Will Seiya be able to make Valkyrie submit? I don't know. This Maybe he's met her his match. <laughs> I don't think Saiyan would ever apologize, though. He doesn't care. He doesn't work like that. Ooh, Arya. Ooh, Arya. Special hero. But, like, he's be... Like, not just special, special. Like, he's special as in, like, the other goddesses already know them. Arya knew. Ishtar knew. Where is he actually from? Is he truly from Japan? Are we getting baited? I'm confused. He is, right? Ariadoa. Alright, for you I will. Arya got that clout! I actually do want to see that. When are we going to see that? There technically is an episode 9.5, I noticed, right? There technically is an episode 9.5, which might be filler. Which could be the fan service episode. It could be a pool episode. We will we'll see about that. Right. That's not a no! It's a recap episode? Fuck me. Yeah, he is crazy. No, 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 That was actually important. That was actually important. Do you speak to everyone so directly or just me? So if, if a hero that is summoned dies during a mission, they are sent back to their world, but do they remember their memories? I doubt they would remember their memories. Like, would you... Like, this is like a divine place. Like, you can't just let regular people know the existence. So here's my guess. Seiya was summoned by Arya. But for whatever reason, they could not clear the B-class difficulty. Maybe there was a time limit. Something about this... It's so suspicious, because clearly, now that they're speaking so polite, like, easily, and, like, this also kind of, like, Ishtar news, too. So, like, it kind of makes sense that... Don't, okay, I'm not... Don't fucking spoil me. I'm not saying yes... Don't spoil me. Don't give me yes or no, okay? You're just... Let me just cook. I'm not asking for answers. 
Like, Arista didn't know because obviously she's a new goddess, right? Makes sense. So I think that is my guess. Seiya straight up was the hero that they summoned a long time ago. But for some reason, Seiya died and the mission failed and he went back on Earth and he forgot all the memories. Now he's back. Is that why he said property instead of status in the beginning? Again, don't give me yes or no, but he did say property, you know? Maybe that was just like a meme of just like fucking around because he didn't want to say status even though it accomplishes the same thing and I'm looking too deep into it. But it really does feel like Seiya was a previous hero, huh? <clears throat> She's not paying attention. She's a little unhinged. You can't say that out loud, bro. Inside thought. Disgusting as hell. She didn't mind that. <laughs> what, the movement skill there? The special divine speed skill beyond a human's range of motion, eternal sword, is a literal divine speed skill? New ultimate, maybe? <laughs> She's very creepy, yeah. I bet he was impressed by that skill there. No, it's the divine. It's not internal damage. He's he's fucking the name up, right? I I swear to God, it was not called internal damage sword. He has a fucking habit of fucking shit up, right? <laughs> eternal sword, eternal. Whatever. It's just thing to just like give people wrong nicknames and just like fucking say the people's name wrong. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, here we go. Mash is training. Mash is training, day one. Are you done training? Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes there has been like girls like this in my high school. They're just like fucking cracked in the head. Like it's like a witch, man. Straight up, they just started laughing in the corner by themselves. I'm like, what? What the? What the fuck? Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Is she M? She might be. She might be, man. His mindset? Just being cautious? Never trust anything. Uh, uh, okay, bye. Mash is so... eager to please Seiya now. Even though before he was kind of like, fuck you, and I feel, I feel like Mash still should say fuck. I guess he did save him, right? And he did show the tremendous amount of strength, but it's crazy how Mash is just, just turned around, even though Seiya is still being a dick. Ignored. Being as careful as possible. Doubt everything. Don't even trust yourself. And Lulu could be the demon lord in disguise. Don't trust anybody. <laughs> Say an impression. Uh, I guess so. Uh, Disciple of Cautionism. All right, we have a cult now. What are you doing? What the? What the? Why is she changing? She's even brushing her hair. Oh my god. She's falling in love with Seiya. Yo, Seiya straight up raised her up. Yeah, she is kind of cute. You know, I don't know, even though she's kind of... Wait, uh, I forget what character I was going to compare it to, but she's actually very cute. I, she's actually very cute. Aww. <laughs> she's totally changed. <laughs> Maybe he... What if he does, though? What if he's using fake out still? We don't know if he has a skill goddess kill. Does that exist? <laughs> Bro's already mastered the eternal sword. The only human she'll acknowledge. Yeah? What? What? What is she doing? Why is she so turned on by him? What does she see? What the fuck? What the fuck? This is a therapy session. Circeus is back. 
Matt, by training with MASH and basically bullying on a kid that's much weaker than you, Cersei's is back. <laughs> MASH stats. Um, I actually forgot what her stats was before, but I, I guess it grew, right? <laughs> Interesting that his MP is zero. Why is his MP zero? Elulu, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> what about your training, Elulu? <laughs> what's wrong? She hasn't... No, this is the same stats before. What the fuck? She hasn't grown. Or that much. What happened? I thought you are training her. Okay. Teach her different magic then. Okay, if she doesn't have any fire magic, then what is she good at? Like water or some other shit? Like what? Interesting. Elulu sucks at fire. What does she got for us? A parting gift? Uh-oh. <laughs> you are not the same goddess! This is a completely different character! Say has completely changed this girl. She's actually fallen in love. Oh my god. Her speech pattern has changed too. She is very cute, though. She is very cute. Oh No, you disgust me. <laughs> oh, man. She baked a fucking cake. But you saw what he did with Cerseus before? You saw what he did with Cerseus' cake, man? Like, what? what is... Oh, no. It's like a marriage cake. No. He's got to take a bite. But what if he says, no, it's poisoned? Uh-oh. What if she super turned on by this? What if she likes this treatment? What if she has been fucking being abused the entire time and she just turns around and starts moaning? Wait! <laughs> wait, 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 what is it? What is it? What is it? That's it? That's it? She just drops the cake and she starts laughing like crazy? That's kind of fucked up. That's that's actually pretty fucked up. I, I, I at least wanted some kind of like, I don't know, funny resolution and she's like actually turned on by the way that he treats her or some shit, but okay. Go! Oh. Oh. What? Now this is the goddess of war! Bye. Ready perfectly. Ready perfectly. <laughs> Bro just says his signature line. Ready perfectly. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, just ignores them. Bye bye. He really likes saying ready perfectly. What? Sorry. Stop trying to use fire magic, Eruru. You suck at it. You can't do shit with that fire. He's so mean. He's so mean. I don't need your help. You're a baggage carrier. Just carry the baggage. You, you are a literal mule. I don't think of you as a living person. If I could replace you with the robot, I would do it in a heartbeat. Dude, come on! Oh. What the fuck? Phoenix! Bird. New skill? New skill? Yo! Say got a new skill! Automatic! No, you don't need to exist. No, no, no. Automatic Phoenix. Too slow. Ants? No, too slow. Get that shit out of my face! You're wasting my time! The Phoenix literally smacked it out of the air! Bye, you animal! Get the shit out of my face. You know, it'd be kind of funny. The Phoenix should take a fucking poop on Eluru, dude. She should, the Phoenix should fucking fly over and just drop a fucking white dookie on Eluru right now. Everything about London 30 is instant death. True, it's optimal, it's ideal.
fake out. Bro's fucking hiding everything. I wonder, and we haven't seen Eternal Sword yet either, right? The super divine fast speed. So, okay, bro's fucking trolling us. <laughs> Level one, everything, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Mega big power! <laughs> the numbers are moving. The fuck? Oh, we have a fucking counter against the Mega Power. Remember last time? She tried to fucking pop her eyes out as best as possible, destroying all the different gates and locks to get to the actual stats. Now we have a counter against it. <laughs> Your eyes and head? Poor Rista. He's out of village. Jesus! Okay, I forgot. He is super cautious, though. Oh my god, he just went for the sword immediately. <laughs> okay, they're considered monsters, though. Okay. Okay. Ten times what he says. We need 500, then. 500, then. Oh, never mind. Wait, so Mash is sense of, you know... Item management is also distorted by Seiya, but watch Seiya be like, no, we need like 500. 500! Always 10 exit, always 10 exit. Huh? Dragon King. Where's the opening? So we're doing this to get like a sacred weapon, right? Whoa. It's like the strongest weapon ever? Knowing this fucking show, I feel like we don't need these kids. So like, clearly, the sign shows two hands with the mark that they showed in the hand. But what if Seiya just fucking opens it with brute force? Or just cut it? <laughs> Ultimate move. <laughs> Bro! Opening the door. Okay, new way of swinging. I see! So we never needed a dragonkin. They literally have no reason to exist. They're baggage. You're here to carry my bags. No, no, no. You are carrier. Baggage carrier. That's all you are. Surely they can be useful in here, right? Where is it? Oh? No. Sus, I would never. Exhaustion, the strongest weapon. Uh, I don't want to really trust it though. You shouldn't have said that. You know Say is gonna fucking ruin this. You know we're not gonna go there now. Okay, little lizard instead. The lizard's gone now. All right, now what? <laughs> uh, um, I know. Um, for some reason, that li lizard was sent to. <laughs> All right, we can trust. We can trust. All right, let's go. <laughs> We troll that guy. The bros probably been waiting for the hero to show up this all the time. He's like, what? what? Dragon? Dragon Newts. Dagos. Divai, Diviathan? Alright, we're in Dragon City. Cool. Sama. They all know of them, of course. Yeah, why do you? But we have more human blood? <laughs> so these two are misbegotten offsprings with weak dragon blood then. I mean! Yeah. No, their choice? Well, they have more human blood percentage, right? I don't know. So someone fucked this thing. Someone, someone, so this is the part where you're supposed to spam wood like you fucking do all the time. Like, someone, so someone actually fucked this dragon and then they got like, well, she already is a dragon, so she is a spawn of a dragon and a human having sex. <laughs> Hello. The monarch. The great mother. Okay. Oh, the credits are playing. Okay. Blessing. Oh, finally! Dragon transformation! Is it gonna look cool? Let's see. Uh, 
his stats are fucking cracked now for sure. It's it's not bad. I don't know. I just for some reason imagined that he would have a human form and like an actual dragon form, but this is like the hybrid, right? Yeah, his, his stats are insane though now. Relax. Great, more baggage you can carry. Now what about Eruru though? Dragon God? Well, now we're talking. Okay, cool. What about Eruru though? You will not need it. What? She didn't need it. Why? Even more important. Huh? Like what? She is the mightiest weapon. That <laughs> the lolly turns into the fucking dragon sword. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> By all, I just feel so bad for Eru, dude. She cannot catch a fucking break. <laughs> Offer up your life. Hmm. What was Seiya thinking? I mean, it's Seiya. I mean, if it actually is the ultimate weapon, wouldn't he be like, all right, Eruru, it's time for me to... I, I'm surprised he's not already fucking grabbing the sword and going like, oh, you know? <laughs> Just fucking charging up for an ultimate attack, frame one, but that's the episode. It was kind of a setup episode, right? So some of the things that we learned in this episode is that... Circeus has gotten over his PTSD, post-traumatic Seiya disorder, good one, guys, by bullying on MASH. We have, you know, MASH is training, he's getting actually stronger. Eruru doesn't have affinity for fire, she just sucks. So, like, her role is just, like, relegated to being a tool, which kind of sucks, but... Unless we're just going the comedy route, I feel like it's kind of too cruel, you know? It's, it's too cruel. And yeah, she actually becomes the baggage at this rate. Like, she, she's not even carrying the baggage. She's actually becoming just fucking extra weight for our bag. Now, there's this goddess of destruction that we've already seen, Valkyrie. So we haven't really done the training with her just yet, right? So, are, do, am I crazy or is the training actually going to happen? Because I thought that we were going to train with Valkyrie, but we ended up training with the goddess of war instead. Is Valkyrie training later or was this all basically just like, I don't know, like... Arya coming here to say, um, please, was like, just to defuse the situation, you can group me all you want to stop being mad at, mad at Seiya, or is there actually training going on later? I'm not really sure, but that's kind of set up. I think that because there's a multiple scenes where Arya is kind of thinking about Seiya, the first time she, she saw Seiya, she's like, she was shocked, right? And the fact that they kind of casually talk together, right? I think it's pretty much just there. It's, it's, it's pretty obvious, right? That she was the hero that she summoned. For some reason, they failed, and I don't know why they failed. Maybe he was being too cautious, but he died, I guess. Maybe he died trying to save her. Who fucking knows? I don't know, but this all banks on the assumption that the heroes that's been summoned and dies forgets their memories and returns back to Earth, which I think logically makes sense. Doesn't really make sense to give these humans, you know, the memories of the divine realm and shit like that. That's something that humans shouldn't know about, right? This girl right here, she's pretty funny. She, she turned it. She just had like an entire arc of just changing for the better. And she even baked a cake. But at the end, she's like, disgusting. I hate you. You were, I never thought of you that way. Goodbye. And he said, ready perfectly and leaves. Maybe he wasn't cautious enough. Hey, maybe that's why he's so cautious about it, bro. Maybe this is why the failure is pretty much just like, even though he forgot the memories, maybe subconsciously it's been deeply, you know, ingrained into his mindset because of that. That's why he's being even more cautious than before. I don't really know. And finally, we got Eru and Mash. They are dragon kin. Mash can turn into a cool dragon god. Eruru is a tool. Feels bad, man. I wonder why they keep shooting on this girl, but we'll see in the future episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.